It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today, today we're gonna to talk about the shortcomings of the Fuji X100V that could be fixed. Things that Fuji could do better on this camera. Let's talk about it. First of all, a thank you to Fuji for improving the 23 millimeter lens on here. The Mark II lens is sharper and better. Uh, let's face it, with this lens, uh, it's a masterpiece, it really is. The leaf shutter on here allows you to take photos with external flash, not worrying about um, your shutter speed. Uh, the flash syncs with the shutter because the round leaf shutter design. All these things are good, but what could be better? I'm not one to complain, but I am creative, so let's come up with some creative things to ask Fuji for in the next iteration. I divide this up into three categories. First category is six easy wins. Um, so just schedule a firmware upgrade and push out nostalgic negative. That's it. It's the greatest film simulation ever, arguably, and I would love to see it on the X1RV. Come to think of it, number two, push out uh, a turn of bleach bypass. Why can't we get that on the X1RV? Uh, three, so Fuji could make these eye holes slightly bigger because you actually have to punch out the middle metal part to fit through other strap systems. So increase the size of the eye ring mount so you can use another strap system more easily. Uh, while we're at it, leave off that fake leather piece that's supposed to keep the, uh, these eye rings from scratching your camera body. Just leave that off, that's number four. Number five, make it weather sealed from the get. From purchase, I shouldn't have to per, uh, I shouldn't have to purchase the, uh, I shouldn't have to purchase the filter adapter and filter to make it weather sealed. Um, also, this is a, just an ask, get that Wi-Fi connectivity and the app improved so that I can more easily connect my camera to my smartphone. All right, those are the six, uh, I would call them easy win asks from Fuji. Then we have some bigger asks and then uh, some nice to haves. And actually I made a video a year ago about what I didn't like about the Fuji and all those reasons still exist. So I'm going to put that in at the end of the video as well. All right, so a controversial bigger ask is increase the size of the grip. This is a minimalist grip. You could increase it slightly so I don't have to add a plate which adds bulk and weight and a grip. So just make it a little bit beefier. And along with that, I would ask, because this, this is the best travel camera and travel means long days, is bless us with a bigger battery. Improve the battery life on the Fuji X100V. All right, three nice to haves. I would like the, the side card slot. I'd, I'd like the side slot to have the SD cards so I don't have to uh, open up the bottom where the battery is. Uh, the next one, I'd like a regular headphone port so I don't have to use an adapter because that little piece that Fuji gives you to connect your headphone to here basically gets lost day one. Another thing I would love is a way to directly connect this to the Instax printers so that you don't have to send a photo to your smartphone and then from your phone print off the printer. It'd be cool just to be able to print straight from here and that's pretty much a request I think that goes for all Fuji cameras. All right, here is my list from last year when I made a, a video, 10 things I don't like about the X1RV. They're all still valid points. Please add a dedicated video record button. Make it easier to access video mode. We'd shoot more video that way. I know it's not a video first camera. To have to hit drive then toggle up to get to the drive mode selection for video is a pain. Uh, please improve the better, give us better face detection with the eye autofocus. The X-T4 and the X-T4, which came out around the same time, perform better. Uh, depends on the lens you're using, but this could be improved. I think you have to fine tune that software to work better with this new lens. Add easier access for slow motion video. Again, we'll shoot the video. The video is awesome quality and it'd be great to have an easier way other than going into the menu to access uh, super slow-mo. Uh, it's very difficult to lift the screen. So I'd say make this tab right here more prominent. Also, don't map the ND filter to the front lever because you actually have to hold this lever down for a few seconds in order to trigger the ND filter. Just map it to another function button by default. That would make it much easier to access. All right, so uh, another thing that's uh, a cool feature is the uh, focus range auto limiter. So you can limit the range where it's gonna pick up uh, focus, but it's only gonna work if face tracking is turned off. I think we should be able to do both. Face tracking within a range. So make that fixed, Fuji. Um, 
Also, there's no way to protect this screen. Actually, I since have ordered a uh, screen protector and I've added that, but I'd love for some way out straight from the factory to cover this screen and protect it. Um, Fuji engineers, you can think of a way to do that. Also, I'd love if by default, the number of exposure, the number of focus points was set to 425 versus 117. So when you're thumbing, uh, using the, the joystick, thumbing over, uh, initially 117, those focus points are kind of spread far apart, so they're gonna jump quite a bit. So just have it set to 425, the max by default. Also, I think this exposure compensation uh, knob right here, this dial is prime real estate, use it for something else. I don't use uh, that a lot, I shoot manual, but I know there's photographers out there, street photographers who use aperture priority and then the exposure compensation dial right here makes more sense. I'd rather have this for shutter speed and have exposure compensation down here on the back. Um, so that's it for me. Um, also, the focus switch right here is hard to get into the middle position. So make that a little easier, those indentations from uh, designation to designation a little more significant. Um, also, lifting up on the shutter speed dial to get to ISO is a little clunky. I just don't think it's, it's the easiest way. Uh, I'd rather have a, a better system to reach ISO. Um, and then I would actually, the corner dial, I'd rather have that uh, on the corner dial than exposure compensation. Also focus check magnification. I would love if it were 10 times, not just five times, especially when you're shooting those close up kind of detail shots because this has such a good uh, minimum focusing distance. It'd be great to fine tune that with the 10 times zoom. And the last thing is the price is a little high and now that's obscenely high because used models are going for 16, 1800 more money than they were worth uh, when the, than when they came off the shelf originally. But it's high compared to the XC4 and the XS10. Um, so I just think it's a premium compact, yeah, but I think you could lower the price and put it in the same price point as those other cameras. Actually, you'd probably get more play on those other cameras if they were all priced the same. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Pricing at high has increased demand, I think, on Fuji's part. So smart job, Fuji. All right, that's it for me. If you like the, the content of this video, if you find it helpful, uh, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see different on the Fuji X100V. I'll see you in the next video.